Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, when is the right time to sell your stock. All of us would have been invested in the stock market either in your mutual funds or in your equity funds. A lot of us would be invested into a collection of funds as well as in small cases. And we just start accumulating our funds. We get adding up funds every month as an SAP into our portfolio. But we never know when is the time to exit our market. That is one of the most crucial thing in the stock market. Profit booking is an art. Not everyone knows it or not everyone is a master in this. In today's video, we'll see different scenarios or different methods where you could do a profit booking or the time to sell your stocks. At the end of this video, we'll also see a very important scenario or a technical indicator which will show you when is the right time to sell your stock. So without further delay, let's get started with this. So the first scenario would be is like uh, when you reach your goal. So uh, say for example, you have a target of 20% uh, in your stock market. That's a very good return in your stock market. So if you've got about at least a 20% returns of your uh, investment, that's a very good time to exit from your stock market. So uh, if your short term goal is 20%, please exit out of the market. And if you are planning up for a long term investment, plan with 30% around in mind, that would be an easier way for you to get out of the market. Or at least like if you have any plans for your expenses, like your future expenses, you got your uh, uh, kids higher education being planned up or your kids marriage being planned up, then you got to save till that event of time. And then like once that is like a time or like if you are having an X amount of uh, money in your mind, so you save till that. And then like when you have attained that status, please exit out from the market. So if you don't have your goal, you will never be able to save money or you will never be able to like get there. So always have a goal in mind, a uh, number in your mind and then work towards that. That's going to be your point number one. So there's a saying from Godric, don't get greedy in the market. Just try to walk away with what you have attained. Whatever uh, simple uh, returns you have got from the market, just try to walk away from that. That's a very easy saying and it is like very easy to do in the stock market. Do not be greedy and just try to like stay contented, contented with what you have achieved. So the second point is going to be is like not to repent on your selling. Say for example, you've got a stock and you've attained up about 20 or 30 percent of growth and you're trying to sell that stock. The minute you sell the stock, the stock is going to like rocket automatically. It's going to go sky high. Don't repent on that. Like whatever profits you have attained, you have decided in your mind and you have sold the script and come out. Don't regret on your selling. That's one of the very crucial thing which we all of us do. Once we start selling a script, it automatically skyrockets and then we start lamenting about it. So just don't regret on your selling. You have already sold it on a profit. So never try to time your market. In fact, no one knows the top of the market. Like no one knows till what extent the script is going to go. So don't feel or bad for whatever your uh, sale price is going to be. The third point is going to be is uh, selling your losing stocks. That's one of the crucial thing which we all have to do. So this is a main thing which we all of us have to do. Say for example, you've got a portfolio of stocks and you've got some of the stocks which are like winning, like giving you greater returns and some of them which are like poor performers or not actually compounding your growth. And in fact, it is like dragging you down. I would give an example of your Indian cricket team. Say for example, you've got like Tendulkar or like Kohli or Dhoni in a team and you wouldn't like try to truncate them from the team and try to add up some more who have in like backbenchers or someone who is like uh, trainees into the team. So we always try to hire up or like we try always try to like have the best players in the team and then rather than having those backbenchers trying to shoot up. What we normally do is when someone is in a profit, we try to exit positions or cut positions on them and we with the hope thinking that the other stocks is going to like skyrocket or that's going to give you greater, greater returns. So whenever you're going to have um, a portfolio of stock, when you find something which is like trailing you down, always try to cut positions on those and that's one of the crucial thing which we must do. In fact, there is a saying by uh, Bernard. It's a very famous saying in the stock market. You could see that like uh, I made my money from uh, selling too soon. So there's nothing wrong in selling your script very soon. Like if you have your mindset, depending on the percentage that you have in mind, it's okay to sell your script for 20% or 30%. So don't lose your uh, decent gain. Say for example, you've got a 20% rise and don't wait for that to go till 50%. When you wait till that, automatically the price is going to drop down and it's going to come out. So always try to like stay low and try to exit your positions whenever you feel that it is like okay in the market. So the fourth scenario will be is when you rebalance your portfolio. Say for example, we got a collection of script. So for during the COVID rally, all of us were like invested in the stock market into the equity. 
and it was a huge bull run and you could have minted up money during those times. Now that the market is like now in a consolidation phase or the bull run is like a bit reduced when compared to your uh, COVID states. So at these kind of situations, what you could do is like you can try to rebalance your portfolio and try to allocate some of your funds into a safer uh, investment, which could be your debt or into your liquid funds. So that's your portfolio allocation. Whenever you have this in your mind, say for example, you wanted to change your equity portfolio, you want to give uh, like a 60% weightage to your equity and 40% to uh, uh, liquid funds and you want to make it like 50 50 so at times like that you can automatically sell your script that's one of the uh, most important thing which we need to follow so the uh, fifth point is going to be your uh, exit strategy always have an exit strategy in mind like whenever you buy a script you always try to place a stop loss to it say for example i'm buying a equity for uh, 600 rupees and i have a, like a price strategy in mind i've got an um, calculation done in my mind that I'm going to wait for a 30% rise in the script which is going to be your 180 rupees so my exit position is going to be like 780 rupees and there will be a stop loss which I must definitely retain always try for a 10% uh, dip in that and when there is a 10% dip always try to cut your positions do not try to uh, go till down there don't try to average that don't try to buy when the stock is like falling don't go with the mindset that you're going to like make it your uh, losses like lower by averaging them again and again and again. Never try to catch a falling knife. It's never possible in the stock market. So don't do that mistake. That's going to be one other event when you're going to like cut your positions in your uh, equity. So the next scenario when you're going to sell your script is going to do with your psychology. That's going to be like emotionally attached to you. Say for example, uh, you try to sell a stock when there is like automatically failing. Don't try to be emotionally attached to a stock. So that's going to be your point number six. Don't get attached to a stock. There's a saying which normally says like, uh, just date your uh, scripts, don't marry them. So try to be like free and don't try to like uh, um, get attached to them. Say for example, you are like interested towards railways. Don't try to be like sticking to a script even though if it is like failing. Don't try to be like addicted towards them. As I said earlier, just try to date them and when you have attained your peer 20 or 30% of growth, just cut the positions on them and just walk out. Don't try to be sticking to them for a longer period of time. In fact, don't overstay your welcome. As simple as that. So the point number seven is going to be a situation where you are getting a better ROI. Say for example, you are invested in the market and you are getting up a better ROI on another script. What you could do is you can cut positions on this and you can get invested on this. So that's a very famous saying by Peter Lynch where he says that like if you are invested in two companies A and B and if you are getting a better return on company A then you can cut positions on B and invest that funds into your position A. The next condition which is going to be number eight which is going to be fundamental changes in the company. So whenever you are buying a script you always need to look at the fundamentals of the company besides the technical that's one of the crucial thing which you need to do you need to see who is the management how are they doing the business what is their 10 years uh, returns and how are they performing in the stock market this is a very crucial thing which you need to do in the market and when you get an information like a negative sentiments of the market where you get news information about uh, the company is go going to be bankrupt or if it is going to be a new change in the management or they have uh, uh, allegedly involved in illegal activities and stuff then you can cut portions on the script depending on the fundamental analysis of the script or if it's going to be a positive which which could be something like the company is going to issue a one-on-one -on -one bonus or the company is going to be in partnership with some other company or they have started up new business units and they are uh, venturing into new governmental projects these are could be some of the positive conditions at times like that you can try uh, acquiring those stocks. So these are some of the conditions which are going to be fundamentally related to the company. So try focused on those kind of scenarios as well. So this is a very crucial for you to like sell a script or buy a script because uh, trading is all about timing. You need to get into the script at the right time and exit your positions at the very right time as well. So the point number nine is going to be a very important thing. That's going to be your uh, partial profit booking. So profit booking is what we are talking about here, like the time to sell your script. Say for example, you are seeing a run up in the stock and you see that like it is skyrocketing. It is like in a very overbought zone. Your RSA is indicating that like the stock is like skyrocketing and you see that like a huge volumes are traded in this. At times like that, it's the best way to do is like you cut some sort of positions in this. Do not sell the script entirely. Say for example, you're holding 100 units of the share then you try to cut 50% of it, you book your profits there and retain the remainder 50. That's a very wise thing to do in this. So that's going to be a very crucial point. That's one other time when we are going to sell our script in the market. So the last point which we are going to check here is about a very important thing which is going to be your 10th point. That's going to be your tax rebates. 
This is one of the very important things which you, all of us must know. Say for example, you are holding a script for an entire financial year and it has incurred a loss of about 20 or 30,000 in your uh, portfolio. So what we could do is like we are already having a loss of 30,000. We could have made a profits in your other scripts as well. So what we could do is we could sell the script in this financial year and this losses you can book with the profit. That will be like offsetting your uh, profits, whatever you have retained in your other scripts. And this you'll be able to file in your income tax claims and you'll be able to again invest into the other positions with this free flow of fund, whatever you are going to get from selling these script. So that's ta tax rebate is a very important thing which you should consider as well. So when you want to like book your profits or you want to like uh, null your uh, income tax, at times like that you can sell your script. That's another scenario where we could sell your script as well. So these are the 10 scenarios when you could sell a script or you could cut positions on your equity, whatever you have purchased in the market or in your portfolio. So besides that, it's a very uh, crucial thing to know when is the right time to sell these scripts. So these are the five, 10 points which we saw now and uh, scenario, different scenarios we discussed. But technically there's an indicator which will help you guide like when is exactly is the right position to sell your script. I've been using this indicator for uh, quite some time. In fact, I've been using it always whenever I'm trying to uh, enter into the market or when I'm going to exit into the market. So we are going to see the indicator as I told earlier of the video. So this is going to be a crucial indicator which tells us when exactly is the time to sell your script. So for this example, I'm going to open up a script of uh, IRCTC and uh, IRCTC is like opening up here and uh, you could see here on the screen it shows my uh, monthly status. Let me change it into um, daily stats and I'll take it to a daily chart. So you could see the daily chart is like showing up here and I don't want to see my RSI here. Let me get rid of the RSI. So this is going to be my daily chart of IRCTC and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an indicator which is going to be your uh, simple moving average. So um, so this simple movie average, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it into uh, 50 days moving average. And I'm going to add up another uh, SMA as well. So this moving average, I'm going to choose it if it is going to be a 200 day uh, moving average as well. And I'm going to change the color of it to see. So you could see here, uh, this is my uh, moving average chart and the objective here is to see that whenever your uh, 50 day moving average is going to go under your uh, 200 day moving average. So whenever that's going to happen. So here you could see here that uh, your 50 day moving average is going below your uh, 200 day moving average. So this cross here. We call this as a death cross. So whenever you see a death cross, it's time to sell your script. Immediately cut positions on this. So you could see that the 50 days DMA is like going below it. So the moving average is going below this. And whenever you see this moving average rising above your uh, 200 day average, that's the time when you have to buy your script. So that's going to be your uh, golden cross. We call this as the golden cross. So whenever you see a death cross, always cut positions. Again here, you could see a death cross happening here. So cut your portions here. So the rule is very simple. Open up the chart of any script. Just try to add up your uh, simple moving average. Put your 50 and 200 days. And whenever you see a death cross, cut your positions. That's the easiest way to sell your script. So these are all the 10 uh, different scenarios which we saw when we could uh, sell your script. Or we also saw a technical indicator to confirm this if there's going to be a right way to sell your script. And I wish you all good luck and uh, try experimenting your uh, um, strategy to sell your scripts with these methods and if you have any other methods which are tried and tested do leave them in the comments as well I would like to see what you guys come up with and uh, if you like this video do share it with your friends and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching